It's been a very tough day for the Marion County school family. Josiah Williams was killed in a single car crash as he walked to the bus stop in rural Northwest Marion County on County Road 318 and Northwest 110 Court. His mom was walking beside him and for some reason that student was hit by a vehicle, obviously killed him and we've just been devastated. We've had crisis teams at the school this morning. Will there be any charges filed? Well, we're way too early in our investigation to look at charges at this point. Josiah Williams was a fifth grader here at Reddick Collier Elementary School, located right here in Reddick. It's where grief counselors will be back out here again on Thursday. He was a, a kid who came in and smiled a lot. He had a lot of friends at school. So obviously this is a student who made a, a good positive impact not only on his classmates, but on his student or on his teachers and the administration of the school. The Florida Highway Patrol says the child began to cross the westbound lane, unfortunately, in front of an oncoming Ford Escort. The crash happened just before 7 a.m. on an unlit county road where the speed limit is 55 miles an hour. We do know that the, the driver did attempt to take evasive action and avoid a collision, but Prior to that, uh, coming to a, you know, a stop, he did, in fact, the front of the vehicle did strike the pedestrian. Josiah was taken to Shands Hospital in Gainesville, where he was pronounced dead. His mother was not injured. But it sounded like she was trying to do you know, due diligence by you know, having a walking along there with her son. Josiah Williams was just 10 I years old. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you care for me in such a special way, that's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is to that school this week, you know what the consequence gonna be. Yeah, so Miss Bishop's call. Ring, 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 ring. This is how the conversation goes. Hello. Because I had a number program on the phone, so I had this guy from work. <laughs> this is Miss Bishop from Red Collie Elementary. Okay. Hi right, again, we got Josiah in here. Oh, okay. Can you speak with him? I don't want to take him to the principal office just yet. Okay, that's fine. Let me speak with him. Miss Bishop. Yeah? Hey, can you give Josiah the handset and put the volume up loud? And you step out the room. Okay. Sir. Sir. If I got to come out to the school, this is what we have. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I know you understand. You said, sir. If I got to come out to that school, I'm going to get on that thing.
first of all, I was on the other side. I was on this other journey, and all I know is great positive things for Josiah. I think Miss Sandy, his former principal, is here as well. She might have got a mixed bag. <laughs> Not sure. But it's an honor, it's an honor to stand here and his mom reminded me of a story we shared one morning. He was, he was getting out of the cars and he was looking down and I said, hold your head up. I say a man always walk with pride and hold his head up. He commands attention when he walks around. He commands attention when he walks in the room. And from that day on, he did. And I would see him from time to time and we would do a, a fist pump or a high five. Another sweet story. So many of the kids have so many loving stories of Josiah over the last week and a half and how much he made them laugh. And one of the teachers shared a story with me, and I think it's important that mom hears this story and grandma hears this story. She said she had him in tutoring about a year ago. And so Josiah introduced himself and said, then he said, do you go to church? She says, yes. He says, are you a Christian? She says, yes. He says, good then, because you're probably going to go to heaven. <laughs> about my own children and how I would feel if something like this happened. I know we try to spiritualize everything and act like we're not feeling it, but we need to take a moment and be human. Because no matter how saved and sanctified and how deep you are, we have a heart. We are parents. We are human beings. And we feel and we react to what life offers us. Let me tell you something. You ain't good to 